We want to go now to Columbus, Ohio, where police released body cam footage just hours after an officer shot and killed a 16-year-old girl. CBS's David Begno has the new details tonight. Hey. It all happened in just 11 seconds, from the moment Officer Nicholas Reardon is seen arriving at the scene to when he fired four shots at Michaela Bryant. Police say they were responding to a 911 call about someone who had a knife. These grown girls over here trying to fight us, trying to stab us. When Officer Reardon arrived, Bryant appears to be chasing one girl before threatening another. Slowed down, police say the video shows 16-year-old Bryant raising a knife. Officer Reardon repeatedly shouts, get down, and then he fires. Get down! Get down! Does the Columbus Police Department policy state that the officer must declare he is about to shoot before he does shoot? We, we try, but it is not a uh, policy requirement that you in, uh, yell your intent to fire your weapon. A second officer starts performing CPR on Bryant almost immediately. She later died. A knife can be seen nearby. In a very unusual move, police released the video just six hours after the shooting. She had a knife. Based on this footage, the officer took action to protect another young girl. Bryant's mother, Paula, says Micaiah was an honor roll student. This never should have happened. She's a loving girl. I'm a father. Her family is grieving. Regardless of the circumstances, a 16-year-old girl lost her life. You know, on social media, a lot of people are asking, could the officer have used a taser instead of a gun? Well, I asked the police chief that here in Columbus, and he said this. When there is an active assault and someone is using a deadly weapon, in this case a knife, a police officer is allowed to use deadly force, in this case his gun, to either protect himself or someone else. Nora? All right, David Begno, thank you.